everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to another daily energy draw this is romance angels friday where we use the romance angels deck because who doesn't like to start the weekend with a little bit of romance last week while we had a little bit of a hiatus we did a romance reading with the romance tarot which was a lot of fun but i am very happy to be back with the tried and true romance angels so let's go ahead and see what message spirit has for us today beautiful tender messages very loving messages coming through over the last several days um, so let's just see what message comes through today. Okay, spirit, and let me get one more. There we go. Okay. Spirit, what message do you have for my collective today? What message do you have for my collective today? <laughs> You deserve love. So if you haven't already listened to the past several, um, I'm going to take that one as well. Yes. If you haven't already in that one, okay. If you haven't already listened to the past several dailies, um, do make sure that you go back, especially, uh, what day is today? Wednesday and Thursday, um, because very loving energy coming forth. We have the card, you deserve love, you are lovable, and it's that same tender energy that's coming through. Um, I feel like there's this energy of transformation and I feel like part of that transformation is you letting go of a lot of ego and what ego is here is old beliefs, especially old beliefs wrapped around who you thought you were, um, old beliefs wrapped around love, especially loving yourself. Um, it's the energy yesterday that came through was forgive yourself for what you didn't know. Um, forgive yourself for past versions of yourself. Forgive yourself for those patterns, those beliefs. Um, there's nothing wrong with the patterns, beliefs um, that you held in the past. As long as you are willing and able to change them according to new information, according to new wisdom, according to new understandings that come through. And the further along we go on this ascension journey, ascension is all about going deeper within the self, knowing yourself, connecting to yourself, and allowing your, your mind to expand as your heart opens up to more and more love. And so as your mind expands, as your, I don't want you to use the word of mind, let's use the word consciousness. As your consciousness expands, as you reach higher and higher levels of consciousness from doing the deep dives, from doing the excavating work of, okay, where did this belief come from? Where did this pattern come from? Does it still serve me? That's where discernment comes in. Does it still serve me or was it just serving an old version of myself? What yesterday's energy draw was, forgiving yourself from the past versions of yourself that still had those patterns, that had those beliefs, that had those cycles, um, because it was serving you for a past version of yourself. That doesn't mean it's going to serve you for the next. And so I feel like you're going through a major transformation where you are loving yourself more deeply. Um, I'm actually getting this feeling like maybe it's a little difficult for you to love yourself right now as you're going through this transformation. So allow source energy to love you. Fill yourself up on that connection with source. Source never abandons you source is infinite in its supply of love for you because you are part of source it's that mother energy that that kept coming in through yesterday um that mother energy of divine love um and so if you're having trouble loving yourself um allow yourself to receive that love from source um because you are deserving of it and that's what they want you to know today you are deserving of it so allow yourself to let go of controlling anywhere where you are still holding on to um, pain of the past. Um, if we're talking about sacred partners, this is allowing both of you to transform, looking at your connection with a fresh set of eyes, letting go of the journey of the past, letting go of your person of the past and who you thought they were, allowing them to have transformed and to be in the process of transforming just as you have transformed and are still in the process of transforming because that arrow is being shot that arrow is heading your way. You are starting a brand new cycle and you have to let go of the old. You have to forgive yourself for who you were, who you thought you were. Um, so keep keep moving forward. Keep allowing yourself to go through this transformation. Um, keep reminding yourself that you are loved, that you are lovable, and that you are deserving and worthy of this transformation as well. Keep letting go of the past version of yourself and who you thought you were, those beliefs, those patterns. Um, they may, again, have may have served you in the past, but they don't serve you now. They don't serve where you were heading. So keep 
keep doing that deep dive, keep doing the introspection, keep doing the reflection. Is this belief still serving me or am I still holding on to it? Am I still trying to control my reality? Am I still trying to control this journey? Am I still trying to control my own expansion and evolutionary process by holding on to beliefs that really don't serve me anymore? Your path, a message is coming through as well. Um, your path is your path on the ascension journey. You can't look so much to the spiritual community to validate that for you especially for those of us who are part of the spiritual community and who are part of ascension you have to trust what's in yourself you have to trust the transformation that's occurring within yourself there are a lot of people within the spiritual community who are remaining stagnant because they are fixated on old beliefs and old information that they had received in the past um, spiritual concepts um, wisdom from the past but as we talked about with Leonardo da Vinci when he came through, was there's going to be renewed understanding, deeper understanding. The more we go on this ascension, evolutionary, and expansion process, the more we're going to understand. Um, it's that spiral. Okay. That's what it is. It's a spiral. Um, it's, it's the more you think you know, the more there is to know. So um, what they had brought forth a couple of weeks ago with Leonardo da Vinci was we have his teachings, we have his workings, but there's another layer under there that we're going to be uncovering over the next several years because we are evolving and we are expanding in our mindset. So we're going to be understanding teachings and guidance and wisdom that he channeled forth from a new level, from a new perspective. It's like when you read a book for the first time, because you're reading the book from your current perspective, when you read that same book, from years down the line, from a different perspective, you receive new messages, you receive new understandings, it resonates with you differently. That's what this is. Those old beliefs, those old that old version of yourself might have served you in the past, but that doesn't mean it's serving you now and it doesn't mean that it's going to serve you going forward. So keep evaluating, keep discerning what is it that you are believing, what is it that you are understanding. Allow yourself to open your mind and allow new thoughts, new beliefs, new expansions to take place um, because there's going to be new understanding. What you have right now is the foundation. But that's going to continuously be expanding because ascension is all about expansion. And so use a lot of discernment, especially within the spiritual community, because there are those who will remain stagnant in their beliefs and those who will be um, continuing to grow and expand as more information is coming forth to the planet. Information that hasn't been received before that you might be receiving for yourself. So stay focused on your path, stay focused on your soul growth, and stay open to expansion um, stay open to recognizing that you do deserve um, this journey. You are here for a purpose. So allow yourself to forgive the past version of you. Allow yourself to love the past version of you. And especially allow yourself to love this version of you as you are expanding and as you are growing. Okay. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> I try to condense it all. That was a lot that just came through. I might be a little bit convoluted, so I apologize for that. But um, the energy was there, and, and, I, and I hope it makes sense. I hope it was very clear. All right, that's going to be it for today's Daily Energy Draw. Do make sure that you're checking out all of my social media platforms, the community posts here on YouTube. Make sure that you're ringing that bell so that you're notified. Um, Instagram and Facebook because I will have... Um, Ascension check-ins, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine check-ins. Um, just make sure that you're staying tuned to all of that. You never know what we're going to post. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week.